Okay. Check your heart. The Bible says to examine yourselves to see if you're in the face. Of course, we love you. It's how much we love you. We keep coming back day after day while you continue to drown in your sin. You continue to drown in your sin for casting a life preserver. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ wants to save you from your sin. Jesus Christ is alive. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ sits at the right hand of the Father even now, listening to your hearts, wondering about this. Listening to your hearts, wondering about the preaching. Why are these crazy guys out here every day telling us Bible verse after Bible verse after Bible verse? Because we love you, and we don't want you to go to hell. Jesus Christ Amen. in Matthew 7, 13 and 14, narrow and difficult is the way that leads to life, and few find it. But wide and easy and broad is the way to destruction, and many go thereat. You are currently on the wide road of spiritual destruction. You're going to die physically, and you're going to go to hell. You don't believe what Jesus taught. You don't believe what Jesus taught in the Bible. That's why we're here. We're here to verbalize the doctrines of Jesus inside your minds and hearts. Yeah, just Here's keep interceding against that Jesus. spirit, man. They're being or convicted. Perish, so, praise the Lord. perish, every one of you, for the remission of your sin. If you want your sin to be passed over by God, you need to humble yourself and cry out to Christ to be forgiven. Kissing a little plastic cross will never help you when you come to judgment before Jesus the judge of the universe. Jesus Christ, the judge of the universe. The Father has committed all judgment unto the Son. Hallelujah. If you don't believe that Jesus will be the judge of the universe, you are by definition an unbeliever on your way to hell. Every time you wicked sinners open your mouths and your heart speaks about spiritual things, you will feel the darkness that you're in. This place is full of voodoo. This place is filled with sin. Sins that want to seduce you to go to hell with them. The, demon, the demons are already committed to hell. The devil himself, Satan, is committed to hell. Jesus Christ had the victory at the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ yes, had hallelujah. the victory for you and me, boys and girls. Yes, thank you, you Lord. And me, you can enjoy the victory of what Jesus did at that cross. And he proved himself to be God by saying this, I lay my life down. And in three days, I'll pick it up again. And the Father raised the Son from the dead. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ descended into Hades. And he preached captivity captive. Hallelujah. He went down into the bowels of the earth. And he preached to our ancestors. He preached to our ancestors. Do you know that Jesus Christ has many people go to hell? Many of us go to hell. Jesus Christ taught you will enter the way of righteousness. None of us deserve to go to heaven. I don't deserve heaven more than you. But God does not desire the destruction of the wicked, but they turn and live. If you fail to turn as God commands, You'll have no life in him. Amen. You will not come before the judgment seat of Christ with the seal of the Holy Ghost. 
without the seal of the Holy Ghost, you are condemned. And Jesus will separate the sheep on his right hand and the goat on his left. Keep this in mind. This is Jesus' perspective. If you die and go to judgment and Jesus moves you to the left side, his left side of humanity, you're going to hell where you're going to burn in agony, in outer darkness forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. You're going to burn in fire forever and ever and ever and ever in torment when the world doesn't die. And your fire is not put out. That's right. Oh man, you know spring chicken. Oh man, you know spring chicken. You need Jesus. Jesus loves you at the cost, but you have no esteem of that. You don't appreciate it. You don't care about what Jesus did. God's gonna humble that old man but over there. You know about what Jesus did, yet you're still doing these dirty things here. You have greater judgment. Greater judgment. If you know about Jesus Christ and you think of church and you got baptized, you have greater judgment. Yes, boys and girls, judgment day comes for you. Mercy day has come for us. We're offering, as ambassadors of Christ, offering a surrender, a conditional surrender to Jesus Christ. If you will surrender to the love of God, God will forgive you. That's right. We are here as ambassadors in chains, the beautiful and loving God in the Bible, to warn you you're in trouble. To warn this is no game. To warn you, if you yeah. die in your sins, you go to hell for your they sins. They got a firearm You ball. go to hell for your sins. Yeah, you go to hell for your sins. This is Papa. All over you? Yeah, your daddy's the devil. Your father is El Diablo. Your father is El Diablo. This is for people going in, too. I guess. Yeah, 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 None of us deserve to go to heaven. You deserve hell. Hey, if it's our time, it's our God time. Uh, from God. Yeah. We agree with God that we deserve hell. But nine out of ten, you know. But Jesus Christ Lord, Lord, even if they pull that trigger up to your brain, man, I mean, the, the Lord says it ain't time, it ain't time. Jesus. You must receive the gift. You must confess your sins. You must turn and live, the Bible says. Amen. It's the teachings of Jesus. I'm giving you doctrine from Jesus, the living yes. God of the Bible. Jesus Christ said, if you fail to turn to my refusal, I have no part of you. The Bible says, go in and out of season, preach the word, rebuke, exhort, correct, with all long suffering and sound teaching, sound doctrine. But you want to be stupid. You want to play these little dumb games. Grow up, man. When you were a child, you played with childish things. Now yes. you're a man, act like a man, confess your sin to Jesus, and get born again. Don't be a whore of the devil. Don't what, dress what like a whore. Don't act doing? like a whore. Don't be a whore, Martha. The Bible says a whore is a thief. A whore, this is man, Bible now. Amazing, huh? Not my opinion. A whore is a deep ditch, a strange woman. Yes, many strange women out here today. God's going to cut out that old man's tongue. Because God didn't desire you to act this way. God didn't design you to act this way. God did not create you for this wicked, filthy, dirty sexual perversions in this place. Jesus Christ designed you to be a mother of children. A husband, a wife to one husband. Faithful. Keep her at home. What, what are all those two things? That's what God has designed you for, women. Not to be out there waiting in the marketplace. Not to be out here acting like whores. 
but to be homebodies, to be at home with their children, raising them in the happiness of the Lord, oh, instead of being abortionists, uh, instead of killing uh, little babies as child uh, sacrifice to your wicked father, the uh, devil. It's on Google even, there's a... Repent and perish.